swimming like half a lap, isn't he? This is a brilliant squabble. Now for third place, and Watts is looking and just thinking, please go away, Harry Reynolds, I just want this podium to myself, mate. He does, doesn't he, Kanata? How has he come into that? That just goes to show you how squabbling over a place can slow you up and draw everybody else into the mix. It fires up the drivers behind as soon as you know that you've got a chance to catch it. The adrenaline starts to pump and you get the lines and, you know, they say 80% of it is psychology. Yeah, exactly. You start pumping in qualifying uh, procedures where you run more speed into the corners and you take extra risks. And look at Canato Lee on the right-hand side, the white and black car against Akil Alibi in the 14. He's starting to make him defend now. And uh, they've spread out a bit, but the same, they've spread out a bit. Harry Reynolds, he's going to try and get the switch back here because this could work out. Oh, it has got to work out. He's got the overlap. He's into the back of him. Contact. He's got him. Got he's him. Got him. Bringing Akil Alibi with him as well. Oh, Dan Luke Watts feeling a little bit for him. Would be great to see him on the podium, but fair play to Akil Alibi fighting back superbly, the South African. But it's the Welshman out front. Oh, and a little tap on the bonnet. Up goes the bonnet of Luke Watts' car. He will now be a little bit uh, stuck to be able to see how close he is to the car in front. Let's hope that doesn't flap up and away. Yeah, the aero should keep that down. There's a safety strap on them, so it shouldn't come all the way up. It wasn't that big of a contact, but the fiberglass bonnet, let's talk about that in a bit, because Harry Reynolds just ran a touch wide, and Akil Alibi now is looking to take that position off him. Look at all these cars fighting for this position. Akil wants the podium. Remember, it's McNeely and McIntyre, P1 and P2. They've taken the last lap board. Through Paddock Hill, Ben, they go side by side. Look at this. You wouldn't think we were still in the last stages of the race, but they are. Watts goes on the grass on the inside of Harry Reynolds. He's on the inside of Akil Alibi and goes back up into third place. Luke Watts is back into third. Here comes Reynolds, though. He's on the outside as they come down to the left hand of Graham Hill Ben. Side by side. Watts surely can't see at that moment. <laughs> Unbelievable. He can't wait to get back on the throttle. So the bonnet comes down. This is for third position. Akil Alibi spent more time on the grass than he has on the tarmac in that yellow car. And now Joe Warhurst in blue. Warhurst is back with the group. He wants a podium as well. It's Luke Watts holding the cards at the moment in third place. This is the battle. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you will miss next year. You will miss it, and I will be gutted when it's gone, but let's enjoy this, because this battle for third position is an absolute beauty. Look at this train, and I don't know how he's going to see. Look at the bonnet. He can't see. He's on the brakes too early. Everyone's in the back of each other. Contact everywhere. You look contact. Oh, this could end in tears. Away goes one of the advertising audience. That was courtesy of Harry Reynolds, but it's what's still there at the moment. Warhurst gets into the back of him. Canato Lee goes for the burn up round the outside here. As they go down the hill, it's still what's there, but they're going every which way possible. And how is Harry Reynolds that far back? Reynolds has got to try and come back into it. We've got Zach Meakin in the mix now as well as Luca Hopkinson, but Watts is still there. They're going into Sterling's. This is all going to be about the run down through clearways. Clark Kerbin to the flag. It is. I mean, Liam McNeely has won the race. Fantastic for him. Willie Mack will come over the line second, but a brilliant another win for, for uh, Liam McNeely. But third place, unreal. Yeah, here we go, here comes the pack, and Luke Watts has held on to it, the bonnet is down, and Luke Watts, is he going to take third place? Warhurst will have a run, but no, Watts is going to take third place, Watts gets it, he's on the podium. Just, let's just check the timing screen, it was Watts, but nearly wins with the fastest lap. Congratulations to him, McIntyre super drive into second, and Luke Watts, what a hero he was in that race. With third position, should he have had the black and orange flag? It was too late to get the black, and, the black and orange flag out, I think. I'll tell you one thing, though, mate. You need the black and orange out for the bead on in your forehead. That was a sweaty race. Look at Akil Alibi in that yellow and black car on the grass for most of that lap. But then you can see the bonnet just steps up when the aero is released off the front of it. He couldn't really see where he's going in the 37. Luke Watts did so well to get this going. But look at Joe Warhurst and then Harry Reynolds in the inside. Bit naughty from uh, Watts there. Just come across in the 37. And I thought that was going to end in a big action. Accident. Canato Lee in the 19 round the outside. I can't even count how many cars. There must be at least eight there battling for that third position. I mean, you talk about karting, you don't even see kart races like that. You don't, and that was unbelievable. But uh, Liam McNeely, unfortunately for you, mate, behind you was the best <laughs> entertainment ever. But well done to you.